Hello and welcome to this video on how to change the shape of the mesh in ANSYS. So, for whatever reason, you might want to be changing the mesh so that it's all triangles, but in the case of certain shapes such as this cylinder with a hole in it, you can see that generally each element tends to be rectangular. There's the odd triangle in here, there's the odd kind of uh, unequal sided quadrilateral, but generally we've got rectangles here. So, if I want to change all of these elements to be triangles, what do I have to do? Well, the first thing, make sure you're within this mesh option here. That will present you with these options at the top. If you find that you are getting different options such as these, it might be because you're in something else rather than mesh. So make sure you're within the mesh option here. Then you want to go up to method and click the method button there. It's then going to ask you which geometry you want to apply this meshing method to. So body select, select the body you want to apply that mesh method to and apply. Now the most important step is to change the method by which the mesh is being generated. So automatically it's on the automatic setting. You want to change that to tetrahedrons and that's what's going to give you the triangles that you're looking for. So automatic to tetrahedrons and then in order to see that mesh we're going to generate it by clicking this generate button up here. So click on that and then while it's generating we can see the progress in this bar down here and then when it's done you can see that at the end each element within the mesh is now triangular. So that's all there is to it, just clicking on the method and then changing it from automatic to tetrahedrons. Now there might be certain things you want to do after this such as check that the minimum mesh quality is still over a certain amount but those are the only steps you have to do to change the shape of the elements. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you, if it has Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for more help with your STEM work. Thanks for watching.